For years, we've been making the link between vector control and saving lives. It's made a major difference in sub-Saharan Africa, where malaria rates have halved in the years between 2000 and 2015. This is mainly due to the widespread distribution of insecticide-treated bed nets and a coordinated control program of indoor residual spraying. Research published in October 2015 demonstrated that together these two vector control interventions have accounted for about 78% of the gains. IVCC was set up in 2005 to develop new vector control tools to ensure that African malaria control programs would continue to have the tools they need to effectively fight malaria. We've come a long way since then. Following extensive work by our industrial partners, we now have a full pipeline of new insecticide compounds almost ready to be taken to full development. When this is complete in around 2022 or maybe sooner, we will have three new active ingredients, each with a novel mode of action. This will revolutionise public health vector control and seriously challenge insecticide resistance so that it's no longer a threat. In the meantime, new, longer-lasting insecticide formulations are already at work where they matter most. And new anti-resistance bed nets will soon be available too. Our partnerships and market interventions have already begun to make life-saving, state-of-the-art IRS affordable to African malaria control programmes through the UNITAID-funded Engineers Project. This IVCC-led market-shaping intervention strategy will build on a solid foundation of reducing price barriers and demonstrating cost-effectiveness to accelerate uptake of new indoor residual spray insecticides and grow the market for third-generation indoor residual spraying. It will do this by bringing down the price of new and more effective insecticides in the short term through co-payment, helping countries and their partners improve forecasting, creating reliable annual Africa-wide forecasts for manufacturers, enabling manufacturers to plan more efficiently, and begin reducing prices through an annual guarantee for increased volumes, collecting evidence of cost-effectiveness, and increasing the variety of products with a pipeline of different active ingredients. This will increase the size of the marketplace and the number of suppliers, leading to a larger, more solid and competitive market, and generating sustainable demand in the future. It will help maintain the effectiveness of vector control in the short term, and encourage competition as prices decrease and demand grows. It will also enable malaria control programmes to manage insecticide resistance by rotating the use of different insecticides, which will extend their lifespan and delay the onset of insecticide resistance. To make this happen, Engineers is teaming up with the US President's Malaria Initiative and ABD Associates, PATH, the Global Fund, African Malaria Control Programmes and insecticide manufacturers. Together with our partners, we're working to make sure that vector control will continue to save lives until malaria is finally eradicated and the world becomes a healthier and better place for everyone.